Hey guys, welcome back. Yesterday, Apple released iOS 14, and for a lot of people, the biggest feature, the most exciting thing they released were widgets on the home screen. So today I'm gonna to show you how to get up and running with widgets on your iPhone, and then 10 apps that I found that have done a really good job of implementing widgets on day one. So here's how you get started with widgets. I've got my home screen here, and I've already got a widget on page two, but all you need to do is hold down on the home screen anywhere where an icon isn't sitting, and then you get basically this jiggle mode and you hit the plus button at the top. And then here you go. Here's all the widgets. You can see all of the apps listed down here. And then all, anyone that they recommend is gonna be right here at the top uh, with some suggestions. And so for example, I can uh, bring this Apple Music one. I can just press and hold and then I can drag it anywhere on the home screen. I can actually move it in there with the icons as well. And if I wanna add another one, just add that. And then what you can do, which is kind of uh, slick, is that you can like click into one. So like there's batteries and then there's three different sizes. There's a small, a medium and a large size. And so a lot of the widgets will have multiple options. So you can choose which one works best for you. So the first app that I think has done a really great job with widgets is Things. And so Things is a task manager and there are three different options for it. There's an option for each size. And then if I add this to my home screen, it'll show up right there. And then if I press and hold on it, I can edit the widget and then I can choose what list I wanna show. So I can show today by default, but any of my other projects, I can filter just by that. And so you can do fun stuff like putting multiple widgets on the screen and for each different project that you're working on. So you can kind of see a ton of things all at once if you want your home screen to be very productivity focused. Next up is Carrot Weather, and Carrot Weather has a few more options. So they have a snark option, which is uh, showing you the current weather with one of their snarky messages. Again, those are in multiple sizes. There's a more traditional just forecast one, again, in multiple sizes. And then there's the hourly forecast and then daily forecast, as well as radar. And the radar is really cool. So I can throw this on here. Uh, I need to actually unlock the app to get access to this. But um, I, if I did that, I'd get a radar right on my home screen, which is super cool. Along those same lines is Weatherline. So this is another weather app. And so here is one that is gonna show me uh, a line for the forecast. And I really like this middle one. If I throw it on the home screen, it's gonna load there. And then you can see a line of showing you kind of the conditions and what's going on throughout the rest of the day. So that's very cool. Next is an app called Food Noms. Food Noms is an app for tracking your calorie intake. And so there's a couple different sizes, a couple that show charts about how you're doing on each of your things. And then this one is just a graph of your calories. I can throw that on my home screen and then I can see how I'm doing throughout the day. And I can always just tap that to go into the app and then enter a new entry. Game Track is a cool app that lets you track your video game collection. And so they have widgets to show you're now playing games as well as some upcoming releases if there's some games you're tracking. So you can just add this to your home screen and that's actually not the game I'm playing, but uh, let me make it Flight Simulator, which is accurate. There we go. So we've got Flight Simulator there. And when I tap into it, I'll be taken right to the game so I can kind of log hours played, uh, my progress through the game. Doesn't really make sense for a Flight Simulator, but yeah, you can do all of that. Habitminder is a cool app that I just recently discovered that lets you track certain habits that you want to uh, kind of embrace. And so you can see there's tons of options here, many different sizes of widgets. Uh, I'm gonna go with kind of this medium sized one. And so I can see my walk status, my run, and then my exercise for the current day. And of course I can tap into it to see uh, an update on how those are all going. Baseball season is soldiering on and the app Pennant lets you keep track of how each team is doing. There's quite a few options. Uh, these specific division ones and team standings require you to pay for the premium version of the app, but you can use this widget uh, to see all teams, all divisions, how they're doing uh, at any point in time. Personal Best is a good app for tracking your personal best at certain exercises. <laughs> so I can see things like my most recent workout, my workouts. Uh, I can see a whole bunch of them actually. Uh, so if I wanna see like just a summary of what was my last workout, throw that on the home screen, I can see uh, the time, the distance, and the calories that I burned. And so that's pretty nice. If you really want some detailed information on how you're walking today, you can get Pedometer++, Plus Plus, which will show you your step count. It'll show you a chart of how active you're doing throughout the day. And then, uh, yeah, you can see based on a goal, daily step graph, 
throw that on your home screen. And actually, I'm not that impressive yet, but I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. Uh, that's uh, really nice to be able to see there if steps are what you care about with your fitness. And finally, we come to the 10th app, that's Drafts. Drafts is a note-taking app, it's a writing app, it's a whole lot of things, uh, but you can have a bunch of different widgets for here. You can go into a specific workspace, you can have multiple workspaces set up here, and then even if you wanna go crazy, you can have up to 16 there, or you can just look at a specific list. So there's quite a few options here. If you're a heavy Drafts user, you can get quite a bit of use out of this. But yeah, so I can go uh, like this one, and then I can either go into my inbox, I can add a note, a voice note, or search. I'm to add a note and so that takes me straight into a new note which is very very nice so that's it for today i hope you learned a little bit about how widgets work in ios 14 and at least one or two of the apps that i showed you today are interesting to you or apps that you already use and you can enjoy immediately as soon as they get updated so all those were live all those have already been updated so you should be able to get any of them right now and use widgets right away and then all of the other apps on your phone this is going to be a big feature, so I expect a lot of them to continue to get updates very soon to update to support widgets because it's a super cool feature and I'm really excited to see what uh, we have coming up. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.